What's up guys? Welcome to the channel. Thank you so much for tuning in. Guys, today we are doing a review on a Genesis G80. Now let me kind of give you a quick background about Genesis. Genesis is um, a line that used to be part of Hyundai. It used to be called the Hyundai Genesis. It was a trim model or a model of Hyundai. And um, that was in the past. Now they went ahead and they took Genesis and they made it its own line. There's three cars, three models that come with the Genesis line. That's the G70, the G80, and the G90. And this is supposed to be their luxury class, all right? Genesis is all luxury and somewhat performance, and that they do have. I'm gonna be completely honest with you. Um, Hyundai and in general, you know, it just never got my, it didn't excite me in the past. But um, Hyundai gave me a call and they said, look, come out and try these cars out. If you think they're great, give us your honest opinion. So that's what I'm doing today. And I'm gonna be upfront in the beginning. I'm completely shocked how great this car is and um, no more. So we're gonna go over the interior, we're gonna go over the exterior, I'm gonna go over functionality, and then I'm gonna pretty much go for a drive. And I'll tell you exactly how I feel about it and wrap it up and we'll get right into it. So here's the beauty we'll be doing here. This is the G80. Um, this is their middle class, their middle tier. Um, it's completely luxury all the way throughout. When I say middle tier, that does not mean that it's middle of the road. It just means that size wise, that's how big it is. Um, there is a G70, a G70 is a lot smaller, and they will be coming out with a coupe eventually. But right now, this is their middle of the road, and it's actually very spacious inside. So let's get right into it. No more. Cue the B-roll. with the exterior of the car this right here it's the camera does not do it any justice you have to really be in person it looks white but it's not actually it's a light light almost like a flat gray i don't know the exact name for it what they call it but it is absolutely gorgeous um i would personally if i had to pick a color this would be it i absolutely love the color on this it's not just your plain white it's got like this i don't want to say like a, a Man, I can't explain it. It's just this light silver. Um, and I'm a sucker for that. Another thing about this right off the bat is also is this uh, bronze type finish um, going throughout, uh, which is real tasteful. It gives you that sense of class that comes with this brand itself, which I absolutely love. Now on the G70, the problem with the G70 I thought was it was just the one I did a review on with blue, and then it had this carbon fiber black or gray, which was okay, but this right here gives it that sense of class. Um, that G70 didn't look as nice. I'm pretty sure they have different trims, but this one in particular, this bronze is beautiful. Um, also, that comes along with the G70 itself is the actual uh, grill here. It has this kind of rugged, almost like a honeycomb right up top i feel like it's like a shredder it's going to shred my hands apart which i love it gives it that aggressive look and i love this mouth opening at the bottom here which i think is awesome i want to touch upon the wheels i love the aggressive look of the wheels it gives it that sporty look but at the same time you get that nice bronze finish which i absolutely love again attention to detail these little accents really go a long way now this actual brushed uh, bronze almost with a little bit of brushed metal here goes all the way throughout the actual window trim of the car which is very nice and even on the handles which also pops as far as body lines go i think it's a beautiful car um the camera in my opinion doesn't do it justice but when you start going around the car in general it has a very edgy yet sporty look which i absolutely love reminding me of a bmw or you know one of their um one of their lines as well i think it has that beautiful look let's see exactly what this car is all about normally um i've noticed with cars you know that you come across with these luxury cars the outside is always beautiful and then it lacks something on the inside i will be honest this car does not do that this actually has a very beautiful interior and being that we're shooting in the light that's a very good thing because now we can really appreciate everything this car has to offer when it's in the dark you can't tell all right so now we're in the interior of the car and right off the bat i will go off for some things 
that I absolutely love about the car. And um, I would say things I don't like about the car, but I'm actually wrong. Uh, there's nothing that I don't like about this car. Um, it has a very beautiful, nice, soft leather going around the steering wheel. Also, something that you probably can't see, but as you can see here, I'm saying get that right. You actually have this stitching. This is all matching the actual bronze outside of the car, which is very nice, very tasteful. Like I said, attention to detail goes a long way, and it just shows that they're paying attention to these little details. Um, Comfort-wise, sitting in it, I have amazing foot room. Uh, the seat actually does open up. When I turn on this car, the steering wheel will drop and adjust to me. So let's go ahead and turn that on. As you can see, the steering wheel is moving down. And actually, my seat actually adjusted while um, back to where I was before. If you look over here on your side, you have actual um, settings that would, rem it's like basically memory seats that remember who was sitting in seat one and seat two. So um, if you or your significant other are sharing the car and your wife is shorter than you or your partner's shorter than you, then you can set the settings to one and it'll remember who's who. All they have to do is press number one, number two, and it adjusts for them, which is great. All right, so let's go on through the rest of the car. All right, so I'm going to switch the angles of the car a little bit, so my camera, so you guys can get a little more of wide perspective of seeing how everything is. So as you see here, it has a nice carbon fiber feel, nice all the way throughout the dash itself. Another thing is it's got the big screen, which is really nice. Um, a little thing that I point I saw while driving my wife's Honda, which I can appreciate here. In my wife's Honda, the windshield is very large. So the problem is, is that when the sun comes down, it actually gets a glare going across the screen. This, on the other hand, does not. It's like looking at a full LCD TV. I think of it as comparing it to watching a projection TV. Even though a projection TV is in the, um, it's nice and big, or not a projection TV, a projector. If the sun is hitting it, it's useless. But when you see a nice LCD TV, you can have a TV in the middle of the daylight and it's not that big of a problem. And that's what this reminds me of. It's a nice clear TV screen or a nice clear screen. And I can pre I can appreciate the actual quality of the screen and throughout. Um, I have everything controlled up here. I can control it right here at my arm, um, at my hands, pretty much am hands reach. Um, you have your nice armrest here and then everything is here. You have your settings and you can control your your screen with this knob here. We have our navigate, we have our map here, we have you can control the seats and the temperatures and things like that. Steering wheels, we can control the, control the view if we're in park, or I'm sorry, in reverse. So if I hit reverse, as you can see there, and now I see the rear view camera, I can see also um, the top view. And if I start tapping buttons around, um, let's see. Oh, let's see. Then if I want to move around, I can see different things. Um, let's see. As you can see there. So if I go that way, I can see the other side of the car. If I want to see the whole back, it's pretty neat. And then I can see the whole car. The next thing I would go over is the seats itself. I absolutely love these seats. The nice soft leather, but at the same time, the tension detail, just like the steering wheel, has the actual bronze stitching going down the whole seat seat of the car also in the door panel you have that bronze stitching also as well you have it's black leather but you can also see in here there's a hint of bronze so basically inside the leather there's that bronze look so whenever you see it from a different angle it looks like a two-tone seat but actually it's still black leather which is very classy another thing that could be a uh, is a really cool at the same time very classy is the actual moon roof here so this right here splits open like that which i'll show you in just a second but the bad thing is is that normally let's say for example you're in a car and you just want to just pull this open this will take half a second to do you open that up and you have a window you have to press this button which is kind of classy but at the same time could be a pain in the butt so if i hit that you see that nice open moon roof and now you have this whole thing open and i think that's very nice also in the back seat you can see here there's curtains in the back of the seats, uh, the back window, and in the um, the rear view window, which is also nice blocking in that sun. So this car is meant to be driven in and also meant to be driven. Now we are in the back seat of the car and 
as you can see i am six feet um and i have plenty of room i was in the front seat at the same time no settings were changed and i had plenty of room i could move my seat up more just to drive a lot of room in the back seat excuse my girly knees um you, of course we have carbon fiber also throughout the back we have speakers here speakers here and also on the other side as well and you have the same speakers on the front so this car is full surround sound another cool thing is you can control the ac temperatures in the back here so if i want to go cold and i want to roll it up to hot i can do that that's usually something i don't see normally in other cars which kind of stinks because if i'm hot in the front seat and i put the ac on the people in the back seat are cold and then ultimately what they do they start closing their vents and people start doing things so it's nice that people in the back and the front can have their own ac also in the back same as you see in the front you have that nice stitching going throughout the car itself um through the leather itself and then also if i want to bring this down i can and i can control everything back here also the back seats have heated uh settings in the back and if i want to bring down that back curtain i can which is pretty nice so all may back features and all in a car half or a third of the price now we're going to go into the front of the car and we're going to go for a drive and i'll tell you exactly how i feel of the drive itself and then we're going to wrap up the video with my opinion on the car all right we are in the driver's seat and let's go for a drive right off the bat very nice and comfortable so Oh, let's, first off, you gotta press that button and then go in the drive. This car is very smooth to drive right off the bat. The And I say right off the bat a lot because I gotta learn new words. But when I'm driving this thing, it's super smooth. I'm gonna take a quick U turn. But whenever I'm driving over bumpy roads, it's very smooth. Uh, I just like nothing. In my Challenger, when I'm driving around, the the car is a stiff drive it is comfortable don't get me wrong very comfortable considering it's a muscle uh, car but compared to this this is a cloud you know um another thing is i think it's really cool is the heads up display there's a heads up display here and you can see basically a little faint number showing you what speed limit you're driving i also noticed that my gas light's on so i need to hurry up and make this review quick because i won't make it far I've done this review plenty of times on this car just because of camera footage issues. It kind of, it kind of um, uh, messed up my footage, so I had to redo the, the footage again. And um, so basically all that to say that I've had a lot of practice with this car, and every time I drive it, man, I just fall in love with it. I've had nothing but praise for this car. Now, this, it has a very nice pickup. That all-wheel drive hooks just pushing that gas a little bit. It's very responsive, and kudos to Genesis for actually keeping that that sport-minded um, engineering. So, you know, in the past, it used to be the Hyundai Genesis, and they came with the Coupe, which is very popular amongst tuners, and it has that sports feel. I have two cousins that have Genesis, um, the Genesis Coupe, and they absolutely love it. This car, on the other hand, is totally different, but yet it has that little bit of edginess that bit of uh, gangsterness, if you would. Um, very classy. Now, this would compete basically if, if you're looking for a Mercedes or if you're looking for a, or a BMW, that type of sedan that has a lot of room in the back and also has that sense of sport and luxury at the same time. This is that car. This is exactly what I would recommend. Um, now, let's say hypothetically, I have all the money in the world and I can buy this. Um, can I buy this car? This car costs 60 grand starting off. This one in particular is $59,000. Once you start building up the um, all the fees and extra things that come up, it's close to $67,000. You know, dealer fees and things like that. So this isn't very cheap, but you know, once you go in the back, they start giving you discounts on these cars. So they do offer a lot of discounts on this car itself. Um, but um it's a great buy and would i buy this if i had the money yes i would i would absolutely buy this car um it's just super comfortable now would i rather buy this for a loved one i'd really buy this car for my mother i'm not saying that if you're a mom you should buy this car but it's i feel like the quietness 
um, the comfort, the luxury, the features. This is all something you would want your loved one in because you want them to feel comfortable and safe at the same time. This car gives me that feel. Me, on the other hand, I'm a muscle car guy. I love muscle cars, so I would not personally buy this car because I'm into muscle cars. But if you were to ask me, Mike, are you into luxury cars? I would totally buy this car. It is totally worth it. As you can see, the moon, the moon roof throughout is tinted, and which is very nice. Also on that heads up display, it's telling me the speed limit. It's telling me it's 45 miles an hour, you know, even though I'm going 15. But the pickup is excellent in this car. Uh, and I know that kind of hopped around there, which I think is, is pretty great. It does have um, basically lane assist, so it will tell you if a car is in your blind spot. And you can know that as well. Um, you guys probably wouldn't even know, but I took it down some bumpy roads, and you probably couldn't even tell. The car adapts that well to the rough roads around you. I absolutely love this car. I think it's an amazing piece of engineering. Kudos to Genesis. I, they, they really did an amazing job. So I'm gonna wrap up this video, and we're just gonna, I'm gonna give you my full opinion on it. What do I think about the exterior? I love the exterior. It has a beautiful, sporty, yet luxurious look to it. I love the attention and detail with the copper, with the bronze, sorry, that bronze look. I also love the interior. The interior is really where it steals the show. That attention to detail, that nice soft leather, the carbon fiber dash, the nice screen that realistically doesn't get affected by the sun coming in. Another thing is the classy look with the buttons has a very BMW style um, uh, dash. Um, so that, that's pretty neat on its own. Yes, um, you don't want to steal from other people, but you know what? If it works, then why change it? You know, it's just a classy look if you're trying to go down that route. Um, my one knock to this car, and it has nothing to do with the car itself, it has to do with the brand. It's just Hyundai's mistake on coming out with the Genesis the model first, um, rather than just coming out with their own line starting off. The reason why is because every time I say Genesis, I think Hyundai. And it's just by, by habit, because in the past it's always been, oh, the Hyundai Genesis. I mean, even doing this video, I did it, I think I had to do three or four takes because I kept on saying, because I kept on saying Hyundai Genesis even though Genesis is their own line. So I just wish Genesis would have done that on their own. Whenever you say Lexus, you don't say Toyota Lexus, you just say Lexus. Or whenever you say Acura, you don't say Honda Acura, you say Acura. So that kind of Honda did that to me itself. They did that to their, you know, to their customers. And every time they hear the word Genesis, they say Honda. Nothing against Honda in any way, but you know, if you want Genesis to be their own line, then you know, it would have been better if you came out at the same time with your own line as it is and not confuse everybody. But it is an excellent car. That's my only knock on it. Genesis is supposed to be coming out with SUVs um, in the near future and they're going to be competing with Mercedes and BMW and Porsche and all those people who did, you know, these mini crossovers and things like that. They'll be doing the same thing here with the Genesis. And I can't wait to see that because their cars are excellent. I can't imagine what their SUV is going to be like. I have so much room driving around right now. I could go for a long drive and not have one complaint. Um, and then on top of that, if I had passengers in the seat and they get cold and they can't stick up with me being hot all the time, they're perfectly fine in the back with their, uh, you know, with their warm seats that they want. They can control everything. This car pretty much is meant for a, a long drive. If you have teenagers. They can sit in the back and they can set anything they want and they don't have to complain. They have it all. Absolutely amazing. So all in all, this car is excellent and I would totally recommend it. So guys, I wanna thank you so much. I'm gonna wrap the video here. I wanna thank you so much for watching. Um, if you had any questions or anything below or you wanna see any new cars being reviewed, please let me know in the description, uh, I'm sorry, in the comments below and I will get right back to them, I promise. Um, I do want to get my hands on a G90 and see what the next luxury up and I'm going to get my hands again on a G70 but I want to get my hands on the sport package because you know me I like speed and I want to continue on so guys that's my video and as we can see we are parking nice and tight all right and what I'm gonna do
and you can hear the beep and it's actually reading that I'm near curb. Uh, that's awesome because every time I scrape my car uh, with my Challenger and that's a pain in my butt because then, oh gosh, it hurts me every single time. All right, so that's my vid. Thank you guys so much. Um, please like and subscribe. I know it's cliche, but it really does help when you guys watch the videos and we get that nice ad revenue. You know me because I'm balling in the millions right now. No, I'm not. But thank you guys so much. Be blessed. Please drive safe. And um, yeah, peace.